Hey guys, Harpin here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I want to give you guys an update of the Antminer S21 XP, the latest air-cooled Bitcoin miner from Bitmain. I just want to give you guys an update here. I already did a video last week, but it's been almost almost 24 hours as of mining with this thing. And I mean, I haven't had this for, you know, I need to really know if this thing is good or not over the next like couple months to a year. I don't really know how reliable this is, but from my experience, and I've only had like one S21 Pro and that died within like two months. Now I've heard other people that had issues with their S21 Pros as well, especially in the colder climates, there's an issue with I think the power supply and the connection to the hash boards. I don't know the actual details of it, but there's an issue in where they essentially die because it was too cold. Anyways, I still have mine in repair, so we'll see how that goes. I'll update you guys later on. But this Antminer S21 XP, okay, so I've been running it over the past almost 24 hours. So it's about using about 37, 89, 88 watts at the wall fluctuates between 3780 and 37 or 3800 watts so yeah at my ambient temperature right now of about 81 fahrenheit i know that on bitmain's website they advertise that the power consumption of this is about 3645 but that's at about 25 degrees celsius or i think 76 fahrenheit so my ambient temperature is a little bit higher than what they're advertised so i think that's why because i'm pulling obviously a bit more power as it's you know it's been running for the past day it's kind of like heat soaked in a way it's getting pretty hot so it is going to use a bit more power as well so yeah i'm about i don't know 120 watts ish over than advertised now i don't have another test area where it's like much colder so i can't really say if it's going to drop in uh, hash rate i mean in power consumption when i did my s21 pro during the actual like negative temperature months in my basement here or around my house the s21 pro actually dropped in power usage and i was able to get the actual theoretical advertised power consumption from that s21 pro but this s21 xp yeah i'm not getting that because it's not you know my ideal environment like bitmain says but you know these types of asic miners in my opinion are going to be in like hosting facilities so the ambient temperatures are you know most likely going to be a lot you know a lot hotter so just be mindful that anyone's actually interested in purchasing one of these thank you to asicmarketplace.com for sending me this s21 xp to showcase to you guys if you guys are interested link down below use code rpm for 100 bucks off but my favorite thing about the S21 XP is this little screen here. Okay, it shows the IP and then it shows like the hash rate. It shows the Antminer logo. Okay, so there's the hash rate. And earlier, like maybe an hour ago, it actually showed like 1.2 petahash or 1200 terahash. I was like, oh my goodness, this thing, it's, it's, it's mining at a lot higher hash rate. No, no, it was just, I think it was a glitch, but yeah, it's back down to uh, about 273 terahash that I'm getting on this thing. So I guess, you know, silicon lottery plays the part as well. So maybe that's why I'm also using a little bit more power as well. Not only is my ambient temperature a little bit higher than what Bitmain tested it at, but yeah, it's, you know, that plays the part as well, plus or minus 5%. But you can see here in the software at about 19 hours in, I'm at 273 uh, terahash. Then at the pool level on via BTC, I am getting about, over the past hour, it says 281 terahash. Uh, I haven't had a almost full 24 hour day, but yeah, generally after it's been mining for the past, you know, 18, 19 hours, between 260 and 280 uh, terahash at the uh, pool level. So yeah, it is mining at its advertised hash rate. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to do this last update video for you guys. I am gonna be moving this to my ASIC shelf and I'm gonna be turning off a few uh, Ice River KS5Ls because yeah, those things aren't making much anymore. So this S21 XP, currently at my electrical rate at about seven, four cents, I am able to profit about $7.70 on this miner. Okay, it fluctuates a lot. I think, you know, last week when I recorded that video, I was making about maybe $5, but because Bitcoin's price just went up to like $85,000 as of recording, we are now earning a little bit more. But gotta be mindful that also the Bitcoin network hash rate is rising. A lot of big players are still expanding in the space, scaling up. 
Bitcoin mining is already quite industrialized. So if you're gonna be, you know, if anyone's thinking about buying Bitcoin miners like this for home, it, one, it's loud, okay? It, <laughs> I forgot to talk about that. This thing is loud and my ears are hurt. Like last week when I turned that on, initial startup, it was very loud. Initial startup was like 100 decibels. Uh, but let's just see, this thing is 10 feet away. 75 decibels, but there's this really high pitched whine. You guys could probably hear it in the video here. I can hear it, this thing upstairs. Like it's very apparent, a very specific noise. So yeah, for me to have this here mining, I guess under this way, where I don't have any uh, insulation or anything between the baseboards here and upstairs, that thing, I can hear it very clearly. So <laughs> yeah, I have to say, uh, this is not gonna be a, a residential home miner unless you were able to get a one of those like fruition design kits where it's like a shroud right and you get an inline fan that is obviously a lot quieter than these 140 mil fans okay so yeah that's also a possibility for people that want to do that for home but i mean does your electrical rate make sense for one of these things i think we calculated i think break even uh, for electricity on this is at 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So honestly, I think anyone that's going to be buying these things, it's going to be sent off for uh, ASIC hosting. Send it off to an ASIC hoster like uh, Terra Hosting or Iowa Crypto Mining. Links down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, I know I'm eventually going to be sending this off for ASIC hosting because yeah, I you know I'm probably going to cycle out miners where I mine at my house here for newer miners and plus this thing is uh, quite loud. I mean, I could get a fruition kit, but I don't wanna you know, mess around with the fans and whatnot. I'm just gonna send this out and it's gonna go. But yeah, it's got the new P13 to uh, C20 power cable. All right, everyone knows the new revision power input here for uh, these Bitmain ASICs over the past year. I mean, yeah, a lot of L9s, you know, all the new models now have that new P13 power input. All right, guys, so I will let you know, I guess, over time, how this Bitmain S21 XP fares over the next, I don't know, couple months. I can give you guys an update, but yeah, I'm hoping that this is gonna be a reliable unit. And yeah, uh, I know a lot of people have had some issues with the previous uh, S21 Pro. So we'll see if this one will uh, have the same fate or not but I guess that's gonna really depend on the environment okay so all right my friends let me know your thoughts I'll see you all in the next video have a good one peace out peace out yeah this thing oh my ears my ears are ringing it's it's very loud it's very loud I love this screen though